All right, we're at 10b.5. We are now going to compare the non-major triads to the major ones. So um, here's how we can do that. So we have our major one. We got a major third on bottom, a minor third on top. Now, from there, what we can do is figure out if any notes are altered and then figure them out from there. So minor triads, they're going to have a third, which will be a half step lower. The third is a half step lower in a minor triad. For diminished triads, the third and the fifth are a half step lower. For augmented triads, the fifth is a half step higher. So for those of you who are in choir, um, especially those who've been in choir for a while, you should know we got do, mi, so, mi, do as the major. When we do the minor, we lower that third. Do, me, so, me, do. For diminished, we lower the third and the fifth. Do, me, se, me, do. Then for augmented, we have the third back where it was normally, and we raise the fifth, the half step higher. Do, mi, si, mi, do. That's how you would hear it. And um, we're gonna figure out how to write that on the staff. Now, letter names must remain the same because triads have to be built in thirds. So on occasion, that means you might need a double sharp or a double flat somewhere. But they have to be, oh, hi, B. they have to be in thirds and the letter names have to stay the same. So we're going to identify these triads as major, minor, diminished, or augmented. Now, first we need to figure out um, what a major triad would be if it has an, starts on A flat. Now, if you remember our patterns, if you look at an A flat, um, A flat major triad, that one has a flat on the bottom and a flat on the top note. Remember, because they're kind of opposite of the A major, which has a sharp in the middle. So we know that this note is altered. What happened to it? Was it raised or lowered? Because it's now a natural, the fifth was raised because it was a flat and then the flat was canceled out and went back up. So if the fifth is raised a half step higher, it is an augmented triad. Now we have the next one, the following, this one here. And when we look at major triad that starts on F, F is one of the ones that has no sharps or flats. Is just completely blank. So let's take a look at what we have. We have lowered both the third and the fifth. When you lower the third and the fifth, it is diminished. All right, next one, F sharp. F sharp is same as F, see, in the same way that F has no sharps or flats, F sharp has all sharps. And this one has a double sharp right here that is raised. When you raise the fifth, it is augmented. Speaking of F, here's F at the bottom. Remember, F has no sharps, no flats. This chord has no sharps, no flats. Therefore, it is major. All right, this next one, we have G, a G triad. Now, with a G triad, if we remember, you can always look back. G has no sharps and no flats. In this case, the third has been lowered with a flat. Minor triads are what have a third half step lower. Now let's take a look at this next one, an F triad. Same exact thing. No sharps or no, and no flats should be for the F major triad. We have lowered the third, therefore it is a minor triad. Next one, we have C sharp. C sharp is one of those ones that has all three sharps on all three notes. We have lowered the third by canceling out the sharp and making it natural, and the fifth same in the same way. When you lower the third and the fifth, 
it is diminished. Next one, we start on E. E um, is one of the ones that has a sharp on the third, normally, because E flat has the one on the outside, E is the one that have one sharp in the middle. If this, oh, hi, baby. this then has lowered, by taking away that sharp, it lowered the third by a half step, therefore, it is minor. Let me redraw that. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay. The rest of them, I will have you do on your own. Now let's look at number two. We're going to write our own specified triad here. Now, this one says F sharp diminished. First, we need to know, first we need to write the, the triad. We know it's going to be F sharp. Now, in diminished, we lower the third and the fifth. Normally, F sharp has sharps on all notes. In order to lower them by half steps, you have to get rid of the sharps. So, we don't have to add anything to that because we had to get rid of the sharps to lower it. That is our F sharp diminished. Next one is D augmented. We need to raise the fifth. A D major chord normally just has an F sharp, but we need to raise the fifth. By raising the fifth, we add a sharp to it. Next one, B minor. When you do a B minor, we got B. Normally, the D and the F are going to have a sharp for B major. With minor, you lower the third, so we need to cancel out the, the sharp on the third, but the fifth can stay the same. That is B minor. And that is one of each, diminished, augmented, and minor. You can, oh, we have one major, a couple majors here. We'll do this one, the F sharp major here. If it does not have any qualifier, just assume it's major. So remember F sharp has all three sharps. And there's our F sharp major. And you will finish the rest of these on your own as well.